Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series of Computer Organization and Advanced Microprocessors. In this lecture, we are going to study about the addressing modes of X086 microprocessors. So let's see what is addressing modes and uh, what are the different types of addressing modes. There are basically eight types of addressing modes. Immediate addressing, then register, direct addressing, register direct addressing, indexed addressing, based addressing, base indexed addressing, and base indexed with displacement. So these are the different modes of addressing in uh, 8086 microprocessors. Let's uh, see each in detail. So very first, let's understand what is addressing modes. Uh, as we know that in each and every instruction or each instruction performs some particular operation, right? And uh, this operation is normally on specific data and also we call them the operand. So the this data and this operand which normally resides, normally we know that all this data and uh, operand reside in the register or memory or the accumulator, right? So addressing mode is actually a way of locating the data or the operands right so there are different ways in which a source operand is denoted in an instruction uh, also we call it a addressing modes and as we know that there are eight different addressing modes in 8086 programming so now let's see each addressing mode in detail So the first addressing mode is, a, is an immediate addressing mode. So what is the meaning of uh, immediate addressing mode? Let's understand with one example. Let's say uh, if I say that I have one variable, let's say a, and I write a is equal to n, right? So in this instruction, what actually I'm doing? I am assigning the value 10 to the variable a right so what we are doing here we are assigning the value to some particular variable and we know that this variable must be somewhere inside the memory it may be inside the register or memory or accumulator right so in assembler language in 806 programming there are certain instructions and there are certain commands to move the data from one place to the another so let's see so here we have the very first instruction the very first instruction here we have that is move move is a command move cx comma 4929h this is the first instruction this is the first instruction first instruction then here we have so total three instructions we have one two and three so let's understand the first instruction the meaning of this first instruction is that we are moving something so which command we are following move 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 means ultimately we are assigning some value to some particular place so here we can say that we are assigning this value 4929h into cx register see this is a uh, 8086 programming that's why the commands and the format of instruction is different but move command is just to uh, assign or to shift the data from one place to the another and here what we are doing immediate addressing means directly we are assigning the value just like this right directly we are assigning this value to this particular register so similarly many commands are there like add command is there move again move command is there so many different commands are there but the meaning of the immediate addressing mode is that in this type of addressing mode the data operand is a part of the instruction itself means here we can see that in instruction data itself a part of instruction so here what you need to understand that immediate addressing mode means that the data operand whatever the data you have is, is is a part of the instruction itself right 
so the best example if you want to understand is this it is like in any in c language normally we write this but uh, as far as it's 86 programming is concerned we write the command then the name of the register and then the data right so this is about the immediate addressing mode the second addressing mode is register addressing mode right so in the register addressing mode what we are doing see um, here we have move instruction okay fine then this is my destination address or this destination and this is the source so if you remember in the previous mode in the immediate addressing mode we had a data and directly we were assigning that data to some particular variable here what we are doing here we have two registers and we are assigning we are moving the data or a content from one location to the another from one, reg one register to the another it is similar to like this let's say that suppose i have a is equal to 10 and if i write b is equal to a right so here what i am doing i am assigning this is immediate right and this is something related with the register addressing means here i am assigning the content of a into b and the similar way here what we are doing we are simply copying what we are copying we are copying the content content of which place content of ax register into where the content of ax into the cx register so the register addressing mode means that the register is the source register is the source so here ax is my source right this ax is a source source of an operand or source of an data and they are the part of the instruction so this is about the register addressing mode so the third addressing mode is a direct addressing mode so what is address uh, what is uh, direct addressing mode so here we have two different uh, instructions we have first and second so let's check it out what is happening over here so now we are know that uh, this is uh, move command right this is the move command and uh, this is my destination and this is the source right so whenever you find this square bracket this square bracket means we are talking about the address of the memory location what we are talking about we are talking about the address of the memory location so earlier it was first in in first it was value in second name of the register and in third we are talking about the address so what we are doing in this here address of the memory location is written directly in the instruction so in this instruction in this instruction we have written the address from where we want to fetch the content and we are storing in the destination register so this is about the direct addressing mode the next we have register indirect addressing mode so normally in this type of addressing mode the address of data is obtained using the indirect way which is the help of offset register with the help of the offset register uh, so then you may have a question that what is offset right so in computer science normally the offset is usually denotes the number of address locations added to a base address in order to get uh, to a specific absolute address right just like and um, just to understand for the understanding purpose we can take uh, the example of uh, let's say array see suppose i have array right this is the array and let's say that the first location 101 this is the address so i can say that 101 is the base address right 101 is the let me write again so let's say 101 is the base address now if i want to fetch this location let's say i want to fetch this location in that case i need to add 1 2 
3, 4, 5 and 6 to this particular address. Then I reach to this location, right? Because this is 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, right? So if I add 6, then I will reach to the 1, 0, 7. So this register indirect addressing is similar to this. Like if I want, see, if I want to fetch this data, then I cannot go directly. First, I need to fetch this. Then I will add the offset value and then I reach to this location. So we are indirectly reaching to this address, right? So the similar way, this is just for the understanding purpose. So similar way in register indirect addressing mode, what we are doing, see, here we have a move command. Now we know this very well. Then we have AX, this is my uh, destination register. Also we know that when we have a square bracket, means we are talking about the address, right? Means we are talking about the address. So in this case, particularly address at any memory location, but not directly through the offset, through the offset address means we are talking about, we are talking about this position right but we cannot go directly so we can go through this and this becomes my offset value right so this address held in any of the following registers so there are uh, these are the registers which normally uh, contains the contain the offset values so here we have move ax and uh, bx so what does it mean that this register this bx register contains this but because this is in the square bracket means i'm talking about the particular address i'm talking because this bx is in the square means i'm talking about the address so let's say this address contains some data means what i'm doing contents of 4 8 9 here we need to write off of foot and are moved to ax register so this is about the register indirect addressing mode where we normally use the offset value along with the offset value uh, to reach to the particular location so where we have base address and the offset value and then we reach to the location that's why we call it a indirect because we are not going to direct we cannot go directly to this location so indirectly we are going to this location so this is the register indirect addressing mode so next we have based addressing mode uh, in this addressing mode the offset address of the operand let's understand with this example here we have move command then we have dx this is my uh, destination address and now again we have a square bracket means we are talking about some address so bx this bx contains some address right so in this addressing mode the offset address the offset address of the operand means bx is given is given by the sum of contents of the bx register whatever there in the bx we don't know that what is there in the bx but whatever it is whatever the content is there in the bx plus some value that can be 8 bit or the 16 bit displacement anything then add this to the content of bx the content of bx plus content of bx plus some displacement and then whatever the value we will get it will be the address and we are talking about that particular address content so this is about the based addressing mode so let's again understand it with uh, some example so here we have 
uh, see uh, because we are talking about the register so this is just for the understanding purpose this i am only explaining for the understanding purpose that let's assume let's assume that my bx register contains uh, let's say 35 let's say 35 right in bx i have this is bx and it contains 35 now plus 4 means 1 2 3 4 means i am talking about the 39 now this 39 is not the value this 39 is the address now i have to check that what is there at the 39th location let's say this is 39 address so what is there here means i'm talking about this value I'm talking about this value. So this is called the based addressing mode where the offset address of the operand means offset address of the operand is given this. This is my, see, this is my operand, right? This is our, this is the operand. But how we get this address? Offset address of the operand is given by the sum of the content. We added this plus 4 sum of the content of the bx register and it can be 8 bit or the 16 bit displacement it can be anything here we have taken the example of the plus 4 right so this is about the based addressing mode uh, then we have indexed addressing mode the indexed addressing mode means now let's first see the example so here we have move okay then we have destination but the source the source is of okay means we're talking about the address address of what si if you remember si is nothing but the source index right source index and di means destination index means i'm talking about some particular address for the index value so in indexed addressing mode what we normally do in this the operand the operand offset address is found by adding the content of si or di registers and 8 bit or 16 bit displacement means whatever it is whatever is there in the si and di we simply need si plus 8 bit or 16 bit whatever and whatever the value we get we are talking about that particular location and that location's value will move to the bx so this is the indexed addressing mode then uh, we have a based indexed addressing mode so let's see the example so here we have move okay we are moving some data to the ex but what data so the ax plus di right um guys just make one change over here um instead of the ax it should be bx okay so it should be bx so in base index addressing normally what we do uh, the offset address of the operand now we know this line very well right the offset address of the operand means the content which i want to move address of that particular operand or the data is computed how will we reach to that particular location by computing something but how what we compute we compute compute it by summing means of course uh, means we are going to do the sum sum of what sum of base register whatever there in the base register the content of the base register whatever is there with the index register right so here we have the base register plus any index register it can be si or the di so here let's say si so and then address and then we will shift this data in some particular 
register right so based address based index addressing mode means that the base address sorry um sorry um base register the content of base register plus content of index register and that we get the offset address and that address at that particular location will have some value that value will be moved to the cx that is the my destination register so this is about the based on based indexed addressing mode so the last addressing mode is based indexed with displacement mode what does it mean so let's understand that uh, we have we are going to move something to somewhere that is ex okay in the just previous slide we saw bx plus di right based index indexed addressing mode but now what we are doing we are just whatever the uh, address or the value we will get after adding bx plus di we just need to do the displacement displacement means you can add plus 8 8 bit or the 16 bit displacement uh, the meaning of the displacement is if you must have heard about the beat wise operator right what we normally do we just shift the beats so here what we are doing we are we are doing the displacement of 8 bits or the 16 bits and whatever we what uh, whenever we wherever we are uh, but we just want to displace it with the 8 bits or the 16 bit so this is about the base indexed with displacement in this the operands offset operands operands offset means of course we, we, we need to reach to the operand operands location so how will we calculate this we will calculate it by computing we will compute it by adding okay we are going to perform the addition addition on what on base register content and index register and along with that along with that we will add the 8 bit or a 16 bit displacement so wherever we will have we will we will reach to that particular location and then we will shift that content to the destination register so it is about the based indexed with displacement so it was all about the addressing modes which we use in the 8086 processor or also we call 8086 programming so happy learning thank you